Government seals Moray Gate 1 and 2 and other crossing points along Indo-Myanmar border with transmission of coronavirus from Myanmar looming large. Negligence by government turns Combo River into bed of diseases. People appeal to save the river from pollution. People of Kairau Makting resolve to defend their democratic rights. Villagers say no to any decision taken by all round development organizations. Devotees hold Pichkarvi ritual with religious fervor and gaiety on the second day of Yauksan festival at Sri Sri Govindaji Temple. And Congress leader Jyotir Ditya Sindhya quits Congress today, likely to join Bharatiya Janata Party. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Lighting Monica with the latest news updates. State government has sealed indo myanmar border in the wake of threats of transmission of coronavirus from Myanmar. Following the Home Department's order issued yesterday, Deputy Commissioner of Technopol District, M. Rajkumar, has ordered to seal indo myanmar Friendship Gate No. 1 and 2, Nampalong Gate, and integrated check post indefinitely. The order came after Chief Minister Nong Thombam Birain met with Home Minister Amit Shah to grant permission to seal the border in the wake of rising apprehension among people of Moray over coronavirus threat. During the border seal period, a combined team of Technopol District Police and Commando carried out round check and many 40 third Assam Rifles personnel kept strict vigil to restrict people from crossing the border. Border patrolling was also being carried out. With the closure of integrated check post, immigration post in ICP remained shut down. It may be mentioned that the visas of two people coming from China, Thailand and Myanmar were cancelled on March 8. Hairangoitong Mabam Lekai Social Voluntary Corps CVC Club, sorry, SVC Club has decided not to hold Yaosung Sports Meet and Yaosung Tabal Tomba this year in the wake of World Health Organization declaring coronavirus COVID-19 as a public health emergency. General Secretary of All Manipur United Club's organization, Amuko Laishram Thuitoi, flagged off an awareness rally on COVID-19 organized by the club today. Speaking on the occasion, SVC President Lema Pukpam Bole said SVC Club has been organizing Yaosung Sports for years, but the club has decided not to hold the event this year with threat of coronavirus looming large. Club General Secretary S. Dhanabir also stressed on the need to take precautionary measures against coronavirus. Speaking to media, Amoko General Secretary Laistram Thoitoi lauded SVC Club for its initiative. He said extra measures should be taken to prevent COVID-19 since Manipur lays in the international border. Tongi general sensing bo koi na masigi line a shide ki changhan dana ba karam ba niti niyom paikar kar deje high banana sing ba doctor sing ne pibi lag pa khang hai scholar sing ne pibi lag pa poktak sing do miyam da publicity se se laga shide ki kanjana ba ki saru amma koi na koi club sina kumshi chahi ki thavan chomba lecture loina na mna sports ki saru kisi jo koi tok tok se laga ta isu sing jibu koi na ille shida saru ya laga ma koi ki tongi punchi da na ek ta ba amma ka oina na ba na masi chinja ba ni. ဟုတ်စီအခွင့်နာတုန်တာထမ်ဇရိပါစိုင်ဘောဒ်ဟိုက်ဇာပတာတယ်အဒုကမစီတကီဒီအခွင့်နာစော်လောက်ပါစက်
ngai ori maram maduna ekoi miyam na ena section na line number gide magda asigum ba ekoi alert campaign ekoi rally asigum ba se ekoi miyam na ekoi club sing maira paibi sing na ena paksena sinbam sinbam athau ta ai na ai thamjani ngai PHE the Thobal Division and District Water Sanitation Committee along with Lawrimbam Kongnangtha Chaukat Maru kicked off a sanitation campaign in Thobal District today to be continued till the end of the Yaosung Festival. The sanitation campaign kicked off with a rally from Charangpat Mayai Lekai Market in Charangpat. Rally has chanted various slogans calling to keep the environment neat and clean and to stop plastic pollution. Failure of the authorities' concern has made the Kongba River a source of various diseases. Impact News reporter Ilangba Musuk and video journalist Namaira Pambisojit bring you an exclusive report. The Kongba River is one of the most polluted rivers of Manipur. The river is somehow usable for household purposes till Kongpal Ketri Lekai in Imphal East. Dirty drains from vehicle workshops and butcher houses from Hatta and Chekon areas and the harmful medical waste emanating from the Jenims Hospital are flowing towards the river. This waste mostly cluster in the river at Kongpal Ketri Lekai, Mutum Lekai and its adjacent areas, rendering it unfit for any use. Apparent failure of the relevant departments like Water Resources, Environment and Manipur Pollution Control Board to save the river from pollution has turned the river water black which is not only unfit for any household consumption but the stench emanating from the river is unbearable for people residing on either sides of the river. As summer season approaches, people are even more apprehensive that the dirty river water will become a breeding ground for mosquitoes and other insects which will lead to various vector-borne diseases. With the Kongba River remaining highly polluted, people who once were dependent on the river are left with no options but to buy water for their daily consumption. For Impact News reporter Ilangba Mushuk and video journalist Namairak Pambisorjit, this is Joyce Shigusham, Impact News, Imphal. People of Kairam Mukting has resolved to stand against those snatching away their democratic rights. Bright Star Union and Islamic Library Union, Kairam Mukting Awang Lekai Major Inkal held a public meeting and took five decisions today. Attendees resolved not to support any organization trying to bring unrest in Kairam Mukting village and to condemn the decision taken by a few members of all wrong development organization restricting people's representatives and from holding events in Kairam. They also took the decision to organize a sports meet in Kairam Mukting under the guidance of Democratic Processing Committee DPC in the near future. Members of Kairam Mukting Youth Club, Kairam Mukting Women Development Association, Democratic Processing Committee, Social Development Organization and United Youths and Volunteers Organization, Zilla Parisad of Kairam Mukting, Gram Panchayat Member Delila Begum, Social Worker Alhas Muhammad Nisiruddin Khan and ward members under Kairau GP attended the meeting. 
Speaking to media convener of Bright Star Union and Islamic Library Union, Abdul Kalam alleged that some members of All Wrong Development Organization tried to take away the democratic rights of a representative of the people of Kairam Makting. He said any decision taken by All Wrong Development Organization will not be implemented in Kairam Makting. March ki tang ama 2020 da kerao sabalai kai da lugumba ardu hari ba organisation aduna akhoi ki khulla sibu manghal takhan na ba makhoi ki thabuk thorum kai ama akhoi ki thakta pangtho ki hari si makhoi ki section khara na adi yam da ba adi makhoi ki khul sibu hekta makhoi ni yon thong na bhon na ba anti social oi gra hijen ba makhoi ki apik pa wakhal ama makhoi na resolution nam phu da makhoi miu ei khara na pass tho ki ba madu ki against da makhoi du yaning de hai bugi asi ki mifam asi akhoi pangtho sa bani ka resolution oi na akhoi wapam khara lawi yam na maru oi ba ware boi na lawra ga ma khogi ardo gi phajada ba thabuk thoram khudimga to adu gi mai okta ekhoi laire ba kairao gi praja sing sina laire karam manu khang da ba khogi ardo ha na organization na ma kairao de gi mihoi khujo khara na moi gi moi moi gi political vendita tu forward to na ho na ba anti social oi ba haibu pochi karam manu haib kan da democratic process ta thinga ba mihoi bu tin anti social element oi ba haibu irang sagali ba khudimak se mohoi na irang thokhan nangai ta bu su moi anti social oi ba kangu sina praja gi apam ba akhoi ki leader oi ba khudi mak sokhe chan na hona ga dami mi gi afa ba phatta bisi khanna ra ga praja ga thabuk to mina ga dami one of the most important events on the second day of the offsang festival pichikari was held at sri sri govind ji mandap today around 300 holi pala from across the state took part in the ceremonial event singing of holi pala playing with colors and ritual ceremonies marked the event Devotees took out a religious rally from Sri Sri Gubijoy Govindaji till Sri Sri Govindaji Mandir playing Pichkari. As per the ritual of Sri Sri Govindaji, Pichkari event is not held on other days after Yausang except on the day of Halankar. A ceremonial rally carrying Lord Vishnu on a, ca on a chariot from Sri Sri Govindaji Mandir till Sri Sri Bijoy Govindaji will conclude the Yausang festival on Halankar day that is on the 5th. day of the Aung festival which concludes the festival Rasanya masih sama sih. Aduh, istri berenda benda. Hari ini ibu mahu bawa holi sana, bah. Aduh, bah. Gigi unung gigi bawa kelu untuk putu agak kau istilah. Si Govind lagi holi istilah pusal lagi. Cerah dah Govind lagi ni gigi holi gigi lila. Aduh, aduh gigi kelu untuk pusal lagi istilah. Nunggu kelu untuk putu agak. Ayuk tu tu ama pegang untuk mahu itu nanti. Ayuk sini aku ngomong dah una. Lucing agak. Magi menteri, mama di thamnai bah kaya una. Govind lagi maningi lampasi dah. Kau yubi lapi pangtu. Yubi lapi pangtu istina. Hingsa apa kau laga? Ani saya yubi muna bagi kelu untuk hit nak pakam bana. Tari tari nasi. Ani saya muna. Raga, lepas kita kel cang ni, ni, aduh, hendak sehi kita apa apa mohina, lain dengan me, aduh na, hendak laka tu riba, sehi sih kita ni, apa apa, lepas meracet pak, santi riba, amu kau ini hai dengan aku ini long ni. People from localities across the Imphal city throng the historic Kangla Fort on the second day of Yaosung Festival to fetch the sacred fire to kickstart Yaosung Sports Meet today. Members and representatives of local clubs and various organizations, irrespective of age and gender, took part in the torch rallies on the second day of the festival, also known as Pichkari Numit. Huge traffic jam was witnessed on major traffic points of the city as people came from different every directions towards the Kangla Fort. Traffic police personnel and relevant authorities carried out their duty well and eased the traffic movement. Naharol Yaipa Kongjang and YK Club Thameban Lowering Pure Laikai kicked off the 9th NYK Yaoksung Sports 2020 by taking the sacred flame from the Kangla Fort today. Various sports and entertainment events were held for children on the first day of the sports meet.
Then Thamakale Ka Youth Development Organization also kicked off Yaosung Sports Meet today by lighting the sacred torch from YTA Club in Tenthakuno. The event further enhanced the existing ties between the two clubs. Speaking on the occasion, CMD of Lamyanba Group of Companies, Laimujam Pratap Singh encouraged people to promote the sports potential of the state. Young boys and girls played tug of war on the occasion. Four miscreants who allegedly gang raped a 26-year-old woman were brought before CJM Imphal West yesterday, where the court sent them to 10 days police custody. The gang rape incident reportedly took place in Imphal West. The accused rapists are 30-year-old Karnajit Gonsam, 29 years old, and Johnson, and 32 years old, Y. Hemchandra, and 32 years old, Pizam Bibi Giri. Lamphel police arrested them on February 8 and handed them over to Imphal West Women Police. Investigating officer of the case, additional SP and of investigative unit Crime Against Women, Nasekpam Ratana, has started investigating the case. Arapti Naukan Musin Youth Club in a press release expressed gratitude to social worker Alhas Muhammad Nasiruddin Khan alias Boboy for donating street lighting equipments for Urup Naukan in Kairau. Now it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring you news on resignation of Congress leader Jyotir Aditya Sindhya from Congress today. You're watching Impact News. Welcome back. You're watching Primetime English News. This gun Congress leader Jyotir Aditya Sindhya today resigned from primary membership of Congress and sent his resignation letter to party president Sonia Gandhi. Sindhya in his letter to Congress president said it is time for him to move on. Meanwhile, Congress General Secretary KC Venugopal said Sindhya has been expelled from the party. Venugopal said party president Sonia Gandhi has approved the expulsion of Sindhya with immediate effect from for anti-party activities. Earlier today, Sindhya met Prime Minister Narendra Modi amid the indications that he might join hands with the BJP to topple the Madhya Pradesh government. People familiar with the matter said Sindhya first met Union Home Minister Amit Shah and then the two leaders met Prime Minister Narendra Modi at his official residence. With six cases of confirmed coronavirus in Kerala and three in Karnataka today, in addition to the two new cases reported in Pune late night yesterday, the total count of India coronavirus cases has touched 56. Meanwhile, Indian Air Force has brought back 58 Indians who were stranded in coronavirus hit Iran. About 2,000 Indians are living in Iran, a country that has witnessed increasing number of coronavirus cases in the last few days. Total 4,089 have died due to COVID-19 globally. Manipur team taking part in the 6th Notice Kung Fu and Kickboxing Championship 2020 left him fall today. The team comprising of 42 players will take part in the championship to be held at Sivasagar in Assam from March 12 to 15. Brands manager of Imphal Urban Cooperative Bank, Wang Kai Brands, Longjam Suranjoy, who is also a certified Kung Fu and Kickboxing Black Belt, 5th then flagged off the team. T.H. Norendro is the team manager and Bijain and A. Pintu Devi are the team coaches and General Secretary of All India Kung Fu Federation Dr. H. Roman is taking part in the event as team official.
10th Sports Festival of Old Manipur Working Journalists Union, Amju, continued at Kuman Lampak Sports Complex, National Sports Academy, Indoor Stadium today. In the final match of men's badminton, Media Unified E. Bormani defeated I. Bobi of Sangai Express 15-8-15-6. In the final match of the women's badminton, Tom TV's Santi Salam defeated Impact TV's TH Rina 15-11-15-4. While in the final match of the men's table tennis, I. Bobi of Sangai Express defeated Huyen Lanpao's T. Lenindro. In women's table tennis finals, Pognafam S. Sonia defeated Didi Stringer and Rina. Altogether, 13 men and 11 women members of Amju took part in the badminton event, while 15 men and 8 women members competed in the table tennis event. Men's football match will be played at Kumalam Park Sports Artificial Turf Ground tomorrow. Before we end, a quick look at the headlines once again. Government seals Mori Gate 1 and 2 and other crossing points along Indo-Myanmar border with transmission of coronavirus from Myanmar looming large. Negligence by government turns Kongba River into bed of diseases. People appeal to save the river from pollution. People of Kairam Mating resort to defend their democratic rights. Villagers say no to any decision taken by all wrong development organizations. Devotees hold Pichkari ritual with religious fervor and gaiety on the second day of Yaosang festival at Sri Sri Govindaji Temple. And Congress leader Jyotir Aditya Sindhya quits Congress today, likely to join Bharatiya Janata Party.